Good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Estaba revisando por ahí, ya les escribí en el WhatsApp. ¿Ah? La unidad 2. Y tienen que estar las tareas de la unidad 2. Y el examen. ¿Ah? Y por ahí, 12. Ya no terminaron las tareas de la 2. 12 de 19. O sea, hay cierto pendiente. Tareas. Y al revés, el examen. 7 de 19. O sea, hay dos pendientes. Esta noche, capítulo. Está fallando la cámara, Edwin. Edwin está ahí. Yes, I'm here. Ahí está. Estabilizó. Parecía un error en la Matrix. Sí, intenté meterme al navegador desde la compu para ver la plataforma y ahí me empezó a fallar. Oh. <coughs> Llegamos a la mitad del módulo. Ahí estamos en la mitad del módulo. Rápido, teacher. Rápido, ¿verdad? Yes. Y se siente el tiempo. Como va volando. ¿Cuántos módulos son, teacher? La verdad que seguro creo que son y eso no, no. no les han dicho eh, no recuerdo de ese dicho no no han informado no creo que son 18 de, de... Plásticos en intermedio, seis de abajo. Sí, 18 dijeron que eran. ¿Por qué sí? Sí, 18 meses. 18. Ok, well, it is time. Let's get started. Siento muy. Ah, no. Solo con uno. Okay, let's take the first attendance of the evening. Please, camera. 
and respond. Alison, Andrea, Serrano. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Carla, Jasmine, Rivera. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Carlos, Jonathan, Garcia. Daniel Ernesto Membreño. Present. Okay, welcome. Edwin Mauricio Pineda. Present. Okay, welcome. Eric Mauricio Cruz. Present. Okay. Gilberto Benito Santa María. Present, teacher. Okay. Jennifer Guadalupe Elías. Presente. Okay. José Andrés Martínez. Ah. Ah, y a él le tocaba muy bien. Si alguien nos quiere, ahí están disponibles. Andrés no va a. Julio César Fabián. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Noé Gustavo Nuye. Present teacher. Okay. Omar Alexander Chávez. Raúl Edgardo Sarceño. Ah, Omar Alexander, presente. Bueno, lo ideal es que se escuche el presente, Omar. Pero de que quede grabado. Ahí queda grabado. Rosalina Esmeralda Sánchez. Present teacher. Ok, welcome. Salvador Alberto Soriano. Present. Okay, welcome. Virginia del Carmen Vázquez. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Vladimir Alejandro García. Present. Okay. William Boris Roque. Here. William Rodrigo Ángel. Okay. Well, let's get started. Well, today, uh, vamos a dar el manual y si nos queda tiempo, vamos a hacer el review. ¿No? Pero la lección está bueno. Teoría por página. Un poco. Es mi friend. Okay. Today we are going to learn to use ordinal numbers and organize activities by date of event. Okay, we are going to learn to use ordinal numbers and organize activities by date of event. Oh, there are two questions here. Well, do you mark your events in your calendar? Do you use a calendar to mark your event? Or yes. no? Or you have good memory? I don't know. I don't think I have memory. <laughs> okay. I only yeah. use to mark the birthdays. Birthdays? Ah, oh. birthdays? Facebook is in, is in charge. <laughs> Since Facebook includes birthdays, 
I never forget people's burden. Well, thank you. Yeah, I I usually use my cell phone as a to remind me of medical appointment or any other activities that I have to do. I use my my cell phone's calendar not to remind me. Me recuerde. And sometimes I have to get the reminder one day before, not exactly the day, time, because if not, I won't be ready. Yeah. Oh, I I use when I use the the cell phone to remind me about event. I set. Like three alarms or three reminders. One day before, two or three hours before, and one hour before. So I I stay aware, soy consciente. Yeah. What do you do to remember or your your event? ¿Qué hacen ustedes para recordar los eventos que tienen? I take notes. Take notes. Where? In, in, my, in my calendar in, in the computer. Ah, in your computer calendar, okay. I right in my notes. In your notes, and, and where do you write your notes? Yes, my notes or my daily. Ah, okay. Yeah. Do you still, who, who uses an agenda? But a, a paper agenda. Salvador still uses a, an agenda. Mm -hmm. Vladimir uses an agenda. Okay. I don't use an agenda now. Ah, Julio Cesar uses an agenda. Okay. Agenda or day book? Day book. Or oh. to write. Okay. Now I use my cell phone. Okay, very good. So, important to remember. Now we are very dependent, dependent of the, the electronic devices, right? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I remember when I was young, and when we didn't have too many electronic devices, we didn't have cell phones, we didn't have uh, a lot of computers. I had an agenda and I also remember a lot of telephone numbers when I was young, you know? You asked me for the phone number of my cousin, my aunt, the company. I, I had that in my memory, my brain. But now I, I only remember my cell phone number. That's it. Ask me for my wife's number, I don't I don't remember. Ask me for my my Children's numbers, I don't know them because I, I trust too much in my cell phone. What about you? Do you remember cell phone or telephone numbers? Only mine. Only <laughs> yours. <laughs> yes. 
Yeah. We have lost that. Hemos perdido eso. No, because I remember, I have a lot of telephone numbers in my brain. I tenía un montón de números de teléfono. Family. Yeah. Friends. Some friends. And my work. School. Out of. Now. I don't even remember Pizza Hut or Chicken or. Okay. Okay. Let's take a look at this conversation here. It's very short. Let me read the conversation first. Okay. Going to mute your microphone, Sharma. And I will record the conversation here for you. Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? It's on Friday the 26th. Now listen again. Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? It's on Friday the 26th. Okay, let's practice. Repeat after me. Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. On Monday, November 22nd. Monday, November 22nd. 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? What about the conference with the Mexican representative? It's on Friday the 26th. It's on Friday the 26th. Okay. I am Susan and you are Adele, okay? Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? It's on Friday. It's on Friday. Okay. Now you are Susan and I am Adele. You begin. One, two, three. Adele, Adele please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? It's on Friday the 26th. Okay, very good. Now I will give you time to practice the conversation and to respond to this question. Okay? I want you to respond these two questions. Number one, when is Susan's meeting? Number two, do you think Susan has a busy agenda? Why? Okay, discuss this, these two questions with your classmates, okay? Let me send you to working pairs.
Okay. Okay. Okay, go to your groups, please. Practice the conversation and respond the two questions. See you in 10 minutes. No, no, eh. Tuve problema con el internet, dicho. Y me, me sacó cuando iba a entrar al grupo, este me sacó de, de Zoom. A ver si puedo enviar otra vez. Ahora. Eh, no me lo tira ahí, solo me dice el arbitrón abrió las salas para grupos pequeños, por favor espere a que a ser asignado.
Okay, welcome back. Okay. Quickly, please. Daniel and Elwin, would you please read the conversation? Okay. Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representatives? It's on Friday, the 26th. Thank you. Gilberto and Virginia. 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 Okay. Yes, Adele, please check out the agenda. Uh, or when the meeting the key consultant. On Monday, November 22nd. Um, uh, with about the conference uh, with the Mexican representative. It is on Friday, the 26th. Okay, thank you. Julio Cesar in Salvador, please. Okay. Okay. Uh, comienzo. Adele, please check my hand. When is the meeting? Why the consult? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? It's on Friday, the 26th. Okay. Thank you. Carla Vladimir. Okay, uh, I begin. Uh, Agile, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November. 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representatives? It's on Friday, the 22nd. Okay. Cool. Rosalina and Jennifer, please. Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? It's on Friday, the 26th. Thank you. Um, Alison, I don't know. It's Raul, are you available? Estás disponible? No. Alison and Omar, estás disponible, Omar? Yes, teacher. Okay, entonces Alison and Omar. Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the council? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? It's on Friday, the 26th. Okay, thank you. Eric, is that disponible? Okay, no. Eh. Uh, 
¿Algún voluntario para practicar con Noé? Rosalina, thank you. Okay. okay. Other, please check my agent. Agent, when is the meeting with the consul? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference why, why, with the Mexican representative? It's on Friday the 26th. Okay, thank you very much. Now, <clears throat> some words, some words. First, this one. Agenda. Check my agenda. Okay. Agenda. Another one. Par de personas que hubieron problemas. Meeting. 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 Varios tuvieron problemas con esta. Consultant. 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 When is the meeting with the consultant? Este también. Problemita algunos. With. 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 Uh, un par. About. 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 And this one. Representative. Representative. Okay. Careful, please. Agenda. Meeting. With consultant about, about representative. Okay. You can practice listen many times. Okay, escuch and escuch. Okay. Well, so when is Susan's meeting? Tell me, when is Susan's meeting? On Monday, November. Monday, November 22nd. Yes, good. Do you think Susan has a busy agenda? Yes or no? No. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. No. Uh, um, yes, two, events, two events on November 22nd and on Friday 26th. Well, maybe. Maybe yes. It's on Friday. Okay. Anyway, well, let's practice the this vocabulary about the, the month of the year. Let me share this. Um, Okay. I'm going to read, actually, I'm going to record the pronunciation here in WhatsApp, okay? January, February, February. March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. The time, listen, just listen. January, February, March, April, May, June. July, August, September, October, November, 
December. Month of the year, okay? Repeat after me, please. January. 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 February. 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 March. 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 April. 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 May. 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 June. 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 July. 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 August. July. August. August. September. 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 October. 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 November. November. December. 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 Okay. Very good. Very good. Let me ask you. Just give me the month, okay? Just the month. I'm going to ask you, when is your birthday? When is your birthday? My birthday is in August. My birthday is in August, okay? When is your birthday, Rosalina? My birthday is December. Is on December. In December. In December. In December. Okay. In December. When is your birthday, Omar? My birthday is in August. Good. When is your birthday? Eric? There. Yeah. When is your birthday? Oh, okay, Eric. My birthday is January. In January. Okay. When is your birthday, Julio? <coughs> My birthday is in December. Okay, birthday, birthday. Repeat, Julio, birthday. Birthday. Okay. When is your birthday, Noé? My birthday is September. In September. In September. In sep September. Okay. When is your birthday, Gilberto? My birthday is in June. Okay. When is your birthday, Edwin? My birthday is in August. Good. When is your birthday, Carla? My birthday is in May. Okay. Uh, when is your birthday, William? My birthday is in January. Okay. When is your birthday, Raul? Not there. When is your birthday, Daniel? My birthday. It's on October. In October. In October. When is your birthday, Vladimir? My birthday is in January. Okay. When is your birthday, Salvador? My birthday is in August. Good. When is your birthday, Alison? My birthday is in October. Okay. When is your birthday, Virginia? It's my birthday, December. 
Okay, my birthday is my in birthday. December. Repeat. My birthday is December. In December. Ah, in December. My okay. birthday is in December. Yes, good. When is your birthday, Jennifer? My birthday is in August. August, okay. Hey, we are many from August. Good. Perfect. So, month of the year. Uh, any question with the pronunciation, people? No, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's practice a little bit. Okay, I already sent a link to WhatsApp and I'm going to send it here as well. I want you to go to that link and you will get to this page. Um, work on this action. Ah, espero que les funcione a todos. A veces depende del internet o depende del dispositivo. Tal vez no logren eso. Tienen que escuchar y escribir. Ok, déjenme darles. Vean. March. Y escribir aquí el mes que es. March. Ok. Ahí les dejo. Um, los voy a poner en grupo para que si alguno tiene problemas para escucharlo, que pueda compartir okay, ahí y entre todos. Okay. ok, join the groups, please, and work on that exercise. Línea, la están esperando.
creo que solamente ese. Excelente, congratulations. ¿Verdad? Thank you, teacher. See you. ¿Qué tal? ¿Terminaron? Yes, teacher. Nos sacamos diez. Excelente. See you. Qué raro. You finish? Yes. Okay. Hasta diez de diez nos acabamos. Excellent. Thanks. Okay, see you. Welcome back. Now, let's continue with this. Let's show you. Okay, because we are talking about date, We are going to practice the ordinal numbers. Okay, and now we need to practice ordinal numbers. Please, until 31st. Okay. Let me read this. We normally add a th to the end of a cardinal number to make it an ordinal number. Be careful of the spelling exception below. Okay. It's simple in English. It's simpler than in Spanish. In English, ordinal numbers, we only add TH. Solo se le agrega. TH a uh, the cardinal number. Punto. There are some exceptions. Para la mayoría, yeah, we only add TH. Except to first, second, and third. Okay, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, Poco. sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, 16th, 17th, 29th, 30th, 31st, 
40th, 41st, 50th, 51st, etc. Okay. So these are ordinal numbers. I'm going to record that pronunciation here in WhatsApp. Se lo voy a grabar acá para que luego puedan practicar. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth. 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st, 40th. 41st, 50th, 51st. Okay. Ahí les queda grabado. So you can practice later, okay? Pueden practicar the pronunciation. Any question with this? With ordinal numbers? We use ordinal numbers for dates. La fecha. Ya vamos a ver algo de cómo decir las fechas. Okay. Centuries. Siglo. Sequence or order. Floors of a building. Pisos de un edificio. Secuencia u orden. Algunos usos, some uses of ordinal numbers. Any question? No? Okay. It is important because when we talk about dates, uh, we use ordinal numbers to say the date. Para decir una fecha, we use ordinal numbers. Okay? Let me show you this. There are two forms or two ways to say the date in English. Yeah, American English, that is United States English and British English. Okay. En forma escrita, vea. In written English, forma escrita. In American English, they say March 7. The order is month plus day. Month plus day. Okay. In spoken English, al decir la fecha. No, it doesn't matter if the number is not ordinal number. You see the seven here is not ordinal. The seven is cardinal. But the pronunciation must be ordinal. Okay. Aunque el número no aparezca como ordinal, the pronunciation must be ordinal. Se lee March 7. March 7. Y cuando damos en American English, damos la fecha. Solo en números, in numbers, the order is month, 
day, year. Month, day, year. March, seven, seven, 2017. March, seven, 2017. Month, day, year. In American English. In British English. In British English. British and the rest of the world. About the. Is this way. Day and month. In forma escrita. Primero. The, the day and later the month. ¿Cómo se lee esto? The 7th of March. The 7th of March. Y el número, the order is day, month, year. Day, month, year. Okay. That is the order. De acuerdo? Any question here? So, claro. Yes. Okay. So, remember, we always use ordinal numbers for the day in spoken English. Always use ordinal numbers for the day in spoken English, in English, hablado. The month, al escribir, the month always starts with capital letter. In English, the month always starts in capital letter, mayúscula. And in mayúscula, siempre. Okay, en números, hay que tener cuidado. Porque 3, 5, 18 in American English is March 5, 2018. But in British English is the 3rd of May, 2018. Una gran diferencia, okay? Hay que tener cuidado. And finally, ¿Cómo se leen los años? Years are normally divided into two parts. Okay? So, oh, este año lo leeríamos 1984. 1984. Okay. No vamos a decir 1984. No. De dos en dos. 1984. Este. 1652. Okay, 1941. Este, 2017. Exception for the year from 2000 to 2010. Excepción, los años del 2000 al 2010, dice Len. 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2010. And, uh, I mean, and A, 2009, 2010. De ahí para allá, 2011, 2012, 2013. This year is 
2023. 2023. Okay? Yes. Any question here? No question. No teacher. No teacher. Okay. So I will ask you a question. When, where, when were you born? When were you born? How to respond to this question? I was born on August 27, 1964. Sir, I was born on August 27th, 1964. That's me. What about you? When were you born? When were you born? Write in the chat your answer, please. Write in the chat your answer. Así como la mía, escriba tu respuesta. Let me share this picture here in WhatsApp for you. Cuando damos una fecha, when we give a day, we use on. When we give a specific day, we use on. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Only six answers. Where are the rest? August, August 31st. Uh, complete answer, Julio. Respuesta completa, por favor. Y Jennifer, 31st, no 31. 31st. Sí, se escribe diferente, Jennifer. Ajá. Para que ya le escribieron, me lo van a decir. Okay. The question is, <clears throat> practice the question, please. When were you born? Repeat. When were you born? When were you born? When were you born? When, when were you born? Okay. la pregunta. When were you born? When okay. was... Let me ask to uh, Salvador. When were you born, Salvador? I was born August eleven. 1984. Okay, good. Please, Salvador, ask the question to 
eh, Julio. Ok. Julio, when were you born? I was born on December 4th. And no sé, 1997. Me doy en dos. Me doy en dos. Oh. Oh, sorry, teacher. <laughs> 19, 1997. Okay, okay. Again, when were you born, Julio? Okay, um, when were you born, no. Alison? Te estoy preguntando de nuevo. Okay, when so when were you born? I was born on December 4th. When nine, nine, seven. 1997. 1997. Okay, good. 1997, 1997. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Julio. Pregúntale a Virginia. Um, hi, Virginia, I was born. When were you born? <laughs> uh, <laughs> when were you born? Okay. I was born on December uh, um, between uh, reading a fish. 1983. I be doing, uh-huh. 1983, repeat. No. 1983. Okay. Okay, Virginia. Thank Ask you. Edwin. Pregúntale Edwin, Virginia. I swear, Arbor, born. When were you born? <laughs> Yes, where are you, Edwin? Okay, I was born on August 31st, 1991. Okay, Edwin, ask Noé, please. Noé, when were you born? I was born on Jan January 1st, uh, Night, nineteen, eight, eight, nine. Okay, good. Noé, ask Gilberto. Gilberto, when were you born? I was born on June 20, 23, 1967. 23rd. June 23rd. 23rd. Okay. Gilberto, ask Please. Alison. Alison, when were for I was born on October nineteen um nineteen ninety-six. Okay. Alison, ask Vladimir. When were you born, Vladimir? I was born on January 9th, 1998. Okay. Ask Carlos. Vladimir. Carlos, when were you born? I was born on October 10th, 1979. Good. Ask Omar, Carlos. Omar, when were you born? I was born on August 10th, 90, 
Ask Daniel Omar. Daniel, when were you born? I was born. I was born on October 6, 1996. Okay. Daniel, continue with Jennifer. When were you born, Jennifer? I was born on August 31, 2000. Okay, Jennifer, continue with Rosalina. Rosalina, when were you born? I was born December 2nd, 1998. No, it's 1998. Sorry. Okay, I was born on. On yeah. December 2nd, 1998. Good. Rosalina, continue with William. William, um, when were you born? Born on January 14, 97. Okay. Uh, William, ask Carla. Carla, when were you born? I was born on May 14, 1990. Okay. Okay, <coughs> I think that's it. Very good. Any question, people? Oh, teacher. No. Okay, well, yeah, please practice the ordinal numbers, okay, practice the ordinal numbers. Now, let's see what else we have here. Okay, I think there's another exercise here to practice. Okay, let me share the link here with you. Okay, you have the link in Zoom and in WhatsApp. Let me show you the. Okay, the exercise is this. Here you have a review. Information, the review, British English versus American English. That is that. Escribe, como se dice. Uh, much information, the ordinal numbers, months, always with capital letters, años, Now here, tienen que escoger American or British. Forma en que está escrito es American or British. Okay. 
Y luego, de nuevo, aquí tenemos un listening. Ah. The 6th of December, 2016. June the 12th, 2016. Okay. La fecha así, número. Y la fecha en número. Uh, British, American. British American. Y luego escribir. How do you say this day? American. Uh, sorry, British American. British. Okay. This looks fun. So let me form the groups. Okay, join the groups, please. Join the group and practice and complete that exercise. Work on that exercise. You.
انتي ¿Cómo dice? Twenty. The fifteenth of April, two thousand and two. The fifteenth of April, two thousand and two. No, pues no sé. No sé, no, no sé, no sé, alcanza a entender. Lo último. The fifteenth of April, two thousand and two. Then two. Importante. The fifteenth of April, two thousand and two. Then T. Then T. Veamos las la americanas. Ahí sería media. Media año. Media año. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. October the 1st, 1976. October. October the 1st, 1976. 19. October the 1st, 1973. Ah, yo le puse de 13. 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 Thirteen. Eleven. Thirteen. Eleven. Thirteen. 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 Thirte
Okay. You finish? No. No, no teacher. No, no teacher. Hey. Un poco larguito, ¿verdad? Yes. The pronunciation is interesting. <laughs> La pronunciación es interesante, ¿no? Um, maybe some difficulty, but that's the idea, ¿no? Practice, practice, practice. Okay, you need, you can do it as many times as you want. Pueden hacerlo tantas veces como familiarizando. Teacher, one, one, one question. ¿Cuál inglés es más fácil? ¿El británico o el americano? Depende. No es que uno sea más fácil que otro. Nosotros estamos más fáciles que el americano, ¿no? Bueno, tenemos. Aunque si ustedes buscan en internet, la mayoría de... No hay mucho. Y hace muchos videos. De Muchos. Pero es como nuestro español o nuestro castellano salvadoreño y el español de los de los españoles. No es que uno sea más difícil que el otro. ¿eh? Familiarizar el oído, básicamente es el oído. Les confieso, hay programas de españoles que no entienden. Me cuesta. Es cuestión de familiarizar el con los acentos. Ah, porque igual hay, hay palabras eh, que se usan diferentes términos. Por ahí me sonaron que el álgebra dicen está en español y no se entiende. <risa> sí. Así es que eh, no es que uno sea más difícil. No es que nos familiarice. Uh, cuando yo tuve la oportunidad de trabajar como intérprete, sí, era un lío cuando me tenían llamadas, eh, me caían algunas llamadas era un lío hay palabras abogado American English es, es lawyer eh, a veces que yo que ya ni me acuerdo ahorita no era lawyer lo que ellos ocupaban y, eh, el lawyer tiene el advisor tiene a referencia de un abogado, pero el británico usa la hay que investigar en el momento. Uh, y así, pues simplemente usan otro término, pantalón, pantalón, pants, los americanos, pants. Para los gringos es browser, británico, browser. Es otro nombre para lo mismo. No, en inglés americano, pharmacy. Más a los británicos, drugstore. Drugstore. Para el gringo, un bar. Para el british, pub. Entonces eso es nada más. Es diferente. Pues sí, es bueno conocerlo porque uno no sabe en qué momento no se va a topar con ese tipo de va a interpretar a veces eh, hay gente que bueno, las, las colonias británicas son se ve el inglés de los haitinos, de los de Bahamas de Belice incluso no es en, no es el, el acento el acento británico. Ah, no. Ya es un acento británico. 
con sus variantes ya por el por los años, ¿verdad? En el área de trabajo. Pasa con mecánico. Entonces es bueno conocer. Okay, people. That's all for today. Today we practice a lot. Uh, I don't know if you have any other question. If not, so we are going to take the last attendance off. Okay. Alison, Andrea, Ferrano. Okay, good night, Alison. Hello. Carla, Jasmine, Rivera. Present. Okay, Carla. Hello, have a good night. Happy birthday. Hey, Carlos, Jonathan, Garcia. Present teacher, good night. Good night, Carlos. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Daniel Ernesto Membreño. Present, good night. Good night, Daniel. See you tomorrow. Edwin Mauricio Pineda. Present teacher. Good night, everyone. Good night. See you tomorrow. Eric Mauricio Cruz. Present. Okay, good night. Gilberto Benito Santa Maria. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Jennifer Guadalupe Elia. Present teacher tonight. Good night. See you tomorrow. Tres, yeah, show up. Julio Cesar Fabian. Present teacher, good night. See you okay. tomorrow. See you, good night. Noé Gustavo Núñez. Present teacher. Okay. Good night. Good night. Juan Alexander Chávez. Present teacher, good night. Good night, see you tomorrow. See you. Raúl Edgardo Sarceño. Present teacher. Okay, good night. Rosalina Esmeralda Sánchez. Present teacher, good night. Good night, see you tomorrow. Salvador Alberto Soriano. <coughs> Salvador. Present. Oh, my. Apague the micrófono. <laughs> my God. Okay, Salvador. Good night. Good night. Virginia del Carmen Vázquez. Eh, present teacher. Good night. Good night. Vladimir Alejandro García. Present, good night. Good night, Vladimir. William Boris Roque. Present, teacher, good night. Good night. And William Rodrigo Ángel. Okay, people, that's all for today. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.